All right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back. Uh, we just had some people in the queue and the damn thing shut off on me. <laughs> if anyone is going to come back, if anyone's going to come back, I'm right here. And I'm ready to put this back in gear. All right, all right, all right. We're putting it back in gear. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we got our cues. We got our cues. Oh, you know what? Thank you all for coming back. Thank you all for coming back. New Adventures, Brush Stroke. We got peeps in here. We got peeps in here. All right, so. All right. I'm not sure which one of you came in first before, but don't worry. We got another whole hour ahead of us if that's what what it comes to. So I'm going to bring in I Am Resonance. All right, all right. Don't worry, we got time for everybody. We got time for everybody. Hey, brother. How's it going, bro? Good, man. How are you? I'm all right, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Seeing you face to face, you know? <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, too. I, like yeah. the, I love the, the energy that you guys are bringing in the conversations. It's really awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? It's all what it is about here because the more energy we can bring is the more that you can receive, right? Yeah, exactly, brother. All right. All right. Should we get into it? Oh, anything, man. Anything. You got some questions? Go ahead. If you want to get into it, it's all good. This this is your your time to shine. Thank you. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do um, a couple of spoken word pieces. The first one. This one's called Atlantis. All right. So are we one yet? Going back to source. No remorse when we reinforce the course that we all endorse. Unconditional love. It's the highest vibration, a gift from above. Desolation of separation, we must be the ones to say this is enough. You see, man, the third dimension, it was meant to be tough. There is no captivity, so unlock the cuffs. Move away from hate and trust, begin to trust. No more anger or lust. I thought shift the earth's crest into a straight axis. Just like in Atlantis, stop causing damage and learn to manage self-realization. When people start to vanish, when we change our intentions and join the like-minded souls in the fifth dimension, what is it that you envision for the future incarnations? The Christ consciousness has arisen to the perception of being in a prison. This industrial system, this slumber of opposites, duality where we get lost and forget how to circumvent and achieve liberation. The curiosity won't last for long at all as you move to the aquatic age. Break free from the third dimensional cage of limitations. Freemasons being misplaced in this illusionary reality. Governing authorities, there will be no more war. Co-create a love ambassador. Open the doors. Life isn't supposed to be a chore. No getting on your knees, worshipping entities from the floor. The message is simple, man. We don't need to know anymore. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. Whoo. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> Fuck, man. You don't need a lighter. This guy is the fire. <laughs> Shit, man. You got to take you camping, man, because <laughs> light up the whole forest. That's, funny, yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good. Sorry. Bear with me. I'm just uh, pouring oh, myself man. a drink here. But yeah. damn. Damn. All right. Well, I don't think I've heard you before, and I am glad that you came to this floor because, whoo. That was good, man. That was good. That is something. That's something I'm gonna remember. Not word mm -hmm. for word, obviously, but but the the, the way the way you brought it out, man. The way you just fucking just it's like a lion just fucking roaring. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna, and before I do the next one, I'll let everyone know that I'm creating a spoken word album right now, where I'm doing this kind of poetry to classic music in the background. And it's been like, you know, 10 years in the making trying to get to a point where I can do that. But I'm doing that this year. And so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, when I drop that, I'll, you know, I'll share it with everyone. All right. That's how it goes. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to do another one. This one here is called Road to Zion. Bro. In this world of calamity. With organized piety making people drop to their knees. We be the free. People see right in front. Time for the purple, narrow minded ignorance. Be the bigger man and see the benevolence. The interdimensional energy of love holds my truth above other dimensions. I'm that anti level vacuum being sucked out in the pool of a black hole, recycling this universe that shows acceptance. Knows acceptance by accepting the predicament that I am in. With all the government makes me think I do is all I do is a sin. Straight fear mongering. So I write with a pen and show a beginning to an end. Just know we chose to be here. Tear perceptions of fear. And remember, Ja will be waiting there. It's time to believe in yourself, to forget monetary wealth, to concentrate on your health, 
I felt lost stones pelt, body bloody, judging by those who say they love me. But what does love mean within these lower frequencies of emotions, causing mental erosion? I'm frozen in a rapidly moving time with holes in the heavens, flow of energy from realms of divine essence. These beings think that we're under the guide to receive lessons of ascension? No. The gods we show, the biblical portrayal of Jesus in pagan rituals, the deities we worship and bow, ask for forgiveness and how can we reach the kingdom of heaven? away from ourselves, looking externally for personified God, indemnified soul of the old ancestry, the duality of friends and foes. Know this, the energy level will persist. The new world order doesn't matter one bit. No one world without singularity, physical perception manifests in realms of sin, uh, physical perception manifests in realms of spirituality, no order, pure anarchy to set off humanity in 13th and third dimensional planetary system free. So follow me and we will transcend and ascend to the fourth density. Oof. Thanks for that's destiny right there. That's destiny, man. That's destiny in eternity. It's the cycle of life, brother. It's the cycle of life, man. You know, mm -hmm. God, God is word. God is life. God is eternity. So what else We're can we do? It. What mm -hmm. else can we do, right? We got no choice. We got no choice. We can either accept it or fight it for the rest of our lives. Straight up, bro. Yeah. Learning to ride the wave, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it's going to take us anyway, so why not, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn, man, that was, whew. Thank you, man. Holy. I'm burning, man. I'm burning. <laughs> I'm still that in was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, okay. You know what? I am I'm honored that you came out here, man. I am honored. That was... <laughs> That was powerful. That was powerful beyond what I could ever even uh, conceive, you know, like everybody has their power. Everybody has their uh, essence and how they speak. But uh, that was just with so much, um, what do you call it? With so much splur in your words, the way you just blurt it out and you just, it's um, fierce. It's very fierce. It's very fierce. Mm -hmm. It's very direct. And it's, it's implemented with just the way you say it, man. That's amazing. That's Dude, amazing. That. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, no problem, brother. I'll be back on. Oh, well, you better come back on some next time. Yeah, yeah. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Uh I'm People's Poetry Project, but I'm Troyce Reimer. Troyce right, Reimer. Right. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Yeah, you too, man. You too. Take care. Okay, yeah, you later. too. For Bye. sure, man. I'm here. Woo! Did you guys feel that? Damn. I think the snow's melting. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. That was woof. All right. If you guys don't follow him, I think you already are. So after that performance, there's nobody not following that. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have Thoughts by Steve. And then we got two more in the queue after that. So stay tuned, stay tuned. We got time for y'all. That was amazing. That was amazing. Damn. All right. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. I'm feeling the heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you? How are you? You had a lot of energy on that basis. Great friend of mine. We met, you know, we met. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, and, uh, but I'm going to slow the rhythm down a bit. So that's how I am. All right. No worries, man. Rhythm is rhythm. No matter what it is, that's what you're giving. We're receiving. Yeah. So here it goes. My first one is for the trip. It had been a long time, but I finally decided to enter the underground laboratory. This interconnected tube full of rushing serpentine monsters whose greatest enemy was time. Memories of days gone by came avalanching back at me. Cycling heat, the rushing light, the crossing of impersonal pathways in the race of life. I was focused on my space, for I did not want it to invade it. Masked creatures walked by in hesitation, but my eyes sent a message that cleared as a lion's roar, feet away. Rolling thunder seemed to approach, 
great street, and a voice from afar gave instruction. I felt my feet carry me into the stomach of the worm and its roof. I looked around and more eyes peering over fabric fields greeted me with disdain as mine did theirs. I searched for telltale signs that they were would be killers. A cough was like a lunge from a red hot blade. It brought the senses to a new awareness. Outside, scenes passed in haste, but not nearly quick enough. Inside, the air was menacing. I tried not to inhale. I counted the pauses, a currency of desperation. One, two, three. And each time new threats poised to pounce, the tension was building. Four, five, six. New eyes, new bodies, new threats. Seven, eight. Eight was the number, the break, the rush, the stairs, the inhalation of air, of temporary relief. The afternoon would mean running the gauntlet again. And that was a trip. Hey, slow ain't so slow when you got that much show, man. <laughs> that was good, man. That was good. I'm glad you were coming here, man. And if you got anything else, you know. But that was... Yeah, I've got Slow ain't slow, man. Slow ain't slow. <laughs> yeah, damn. All right, all right. I see what people are giving here. I see what people are giving. And I can say I'm mind blown, man. I'm mind blown. All these poets, you included, man. Oh, I'm just blessed to be able to hear this. I'm blessed. Yeah, and and the, the beauty is the diversity. Everyone's got their own style, their own wit, their own things to talk about. You know? Yeah, exactly. They did fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But that's how we are, and that's how we are, you know, and that's that's the beauty of it, you know, that everyone's got his own side. And, and that's and, true. And my, you know, if we can appreciate that everyone is so diverse in the way they're right, maybe we yeah. can take that outside the poetry world, maybe people will understand how beauty Exactly, yeah. exactly. To see, that's the thing about poetry. Just like people, just like people, not one person is made the same. Well, the way a person expresses themselves is not going to be the same either. And just because one person is different than the next, that doesn't make them any different. Because it's just the same way of expressing differently. You know, if that makes sense, I don't know. But I've noticed that a lot of poets, a lot of poets are, uh, you know, so diverse and 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 how everyone's different and then there's the readers the readers are like oh well why don't you put it in poetic form so, uh, this is poetic form bitch like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is my this is my poetic form like <laughs> yeah 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 no for sure man for sure i can i can definitely agree with that yeah, I've got another one if you want, and uh, this is, uh, I wrote I wrote this, what, two, maybe three hours ago, so it's, it's new. I hope I get it right. All right. It's a, rock, it's a, it's a romantic one, but with a twist. Mm. With a twist. Here you go. It's called The One O'Clock Day. I knew you would be there. I could always count on you. Rain or shine. One o'clock from the bench by the six or three. You were as beautiful as always, your black hair tied with careless ease, and the grace with which you walked, understated, yet sublime. I could tell you had been crying, though so you had described it well. And as you sat beside me, I tried my best to control you. I told you I loved you. You told me you loved me. I told you I missed you. You told me you missed me. You started to cry again. And I tried so hard to wipe away the tears. But my outstretched hand would offer no resistance. And the tears kept rolling down. How long has it been now? Playing the same scene over and over again? 
I hope the day will come when you will miss our day your own day. Or perhaps bring someone else to sit beside you. So then I could finally rest in Love is above, man. Love is above. Whether it makes you go low or not, it's still above because we always hold that love above. Even when it's pushing us under, man, we always hold that above. We could be drowning, but we're holding that motherfucker up. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know. Love so pure is so rare, but some of us still dare. Yeah. Anyway, I won't spend you much longer because I know there are a couple of other people, very good people whose names I can see down there. I hope they're all popular. Oh, uh, we definitely, so, yeah. we definitely got a couple others, and I appreciate that. I'm sure they appreciate that as well. Please. You know, it is. Please. I always say it's your time to shine. But yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for coming, and I hope we see you again. Sure, definitely. Please. All right. Bye. Cheers. All right, peeps. PPPs, peeps. That's what. That's what tonight is, man. It's all about the fierceness. It's all about the love. It's all about the agility for civility. It's the beauty. It's the poetry. And this is what People's Poetry is about. People's Poetry Project. Because we're all still, we're all still growing and we're still progressing. So purely pure progress. And so next up. Next up, okay, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was Brushstroke up next. All right, Chad Brochu, uh, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, fellow Canadian. All right, we got another Canadian in the house. <clears throat> How's it going? How's it going? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Whereabouts in Canada are you at? Okay, so I live in Alberta. I live what? In yeah, I live Me? north of it. I live north of Edmonton. I live by Mournville. Okay, I in okay. Mournville. I'm in Calgary. I'm in Calgary. Oh, okay, right on. Always yeah. good to see another Canadian, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm right. saying. It's not like yeah. everyone's gonna shine the. Not everyone's gonna shine the flag, but when I see it, I know. Yeah, <laughs> right. right? Yeah. I think most of the time it's so people don't confuse us with Americans. That's what I always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no yeah, no to Americans on here, but. Um, no, 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 there's no offense. There's no offense. They know how it is, you know. Everyone, you see it, you see it in movies. Everyone's like, everyone's saying how Canada's known as the nice country, right? There's just right. one movie, it's one movie I watched. Uh, it was in America, and they're, they're like, I'd like to leave my doors unlocked at night, but I can't. This is not Canada. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I lock my doors. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Trust me. You know, they mm -hmm. all portray us like some kind of something, something, but well, we, we ain't no better. That's for sure. Right, right. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Awesome. Sub Canada. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm from Canada. Um, I'm a multimedia artist, so I do paintings. I do spoken. I do poetry. I do paintings. I do photography. I pretty much do everything. Um, there we go. And, yeah. C-H-A-D. So, you got your fans yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much know everybody in the room already. I've been, so I started doing live a couple of months ago, and it's kind of like becoming my jam, right? Yeah, like yeah. No, same months, thing, man. Yeah, I love everything. this, too. Changed everything. Changed my my poetry. Like everything has changed because of it. It's like amazing, man. The self empowerment through it, man. Right. Oh, yeah. and that's kind of what I'm about now too. I'm about getting smaller, smaller, smaller artists on. Like hit the mic, yeah. man. Don't DM it. Hit the mic, man. Like trust, trust me. Hit the mic. Thank me later. That's my thing, right? But, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, one thing I've noticed is, um, you know, the reason why I got into it. So I listen to this poet doing his spoken word and the way he schemed all his words together, like not everything rhymed, but the yeah, way yeah, he yeah. put it all together, it yeah. just flowed like a fucking river. And I realized, yeah. damn, I got to, I got to pick up my game because I realized that if I would have read that piece instead of hearing him speak it, I wouldn't right. have felt that, you know? Right. And Absolutely. fucking hair is standing in the back of my neck and everything. So I realized that, you know what, if I want people to really hear what I'm saying, I got to say it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You got to spit it, man. And you got to just yeah. be bold. And like, you'll find nothing but love here, man. Seriously. I've oh, definitely, come across yeah. very little. That's not, 
the few times you do see it, who cares? It's like, there's so much positive, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. what's going on? Oh, it's just oh, oh, Yeah, I'm not polite. Don't worry, we don't need to be polite. Poetry yeah. and polite, it's just the truth. <laughs> it's the truth of what we write. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Okay, awesome. Well, yeah, I got a... <clears throat> I got a piece. All right. Yeah, lots of pieces, actually, but... Um, yeah, so this one's kind of a more recent one for me. It's called Reaching Past My Mistakes. Okay. I am reaching past my mistakes through a corrupt fog of ego. Forgiveness of self is a fucking virtue that I cannot count on anymore. It's funny how the things that haunt us so draped in the sickness of memory are the same lies that had begun to grow within, recognizing all the things we hate about them. An obvious pattern, a half-truth, me looking for a compromise, then slamming the door shut while you weren't looking. I'm reaching past my mistakes, looking for something to believe in outside myself, the joke of growing old and seeing the places and the people you loved crumble into a ruinous echo. The tragedy of burying your friends only a few years away from saying they were too young. Just another meaningless platitude. An excuse. A number that never repeats. A number that we can never get back. I'm reaching past my mistakes. Hoping to be remembered by everyone who doesn't matter. Erase me from your footsteps. This is not my home. Suffering for your comfort, reading your body language like a cheap Gideon's Bible, awaiting my turn to speak. I do not belong here on the wastelands, laid out in the heat of day, across the poisoned sands of my own kin, praying that time will turn my bones into gold, into silver, into dust, into anything but love, stretching out my fingers to touch my mistakes. Ooh. And that's that piece. I, I picked that up from Rambach recently because he always does that. And that's that piece. Yeah, that's that yeah piece. and that's that piece. Yeah. If you don't know, way, now you piece. know. Yeah, I picked that off from a Shandi Poet. If you don't know, now you uh, know. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah. No, that's great, man. Damn. All right. I I, I see yeah. what I see what's going on here, man. And all these poets are just bringing it. <laughs> you, guys yeah. are just, you guys are just bringing it, bringing it. Man, the open mics, like open mic season is here. And yeah. like these curated shows and stuff are good or whatever. But dude, that's open mic season oh, is man. here. And like oh, it makes me yeah. so happy. Open my feed. Everyone's on a live. Fuck yeah. That's exactly what I want to That's exactly see. it. Did you, you want to say another one? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. Uh, just give me one second because yeah. I got to run to the piss real quick. I'm going <laughs> to <on, laughs> no uh, put this on. I've been over here over an hour already, right? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to put this on uh, mute for a quick second. I'll be right back. I'll scroll through comments. How are you guys doing? Everyone's doing good. Man. Yeah, I love the lives. So many good lives all the time now. Like, yeah, don't even DM it. Just jump on the mic and just drop that shit. What else is going on? Nothing really else is going on. My house is still flooded. And I'm still living at my in-laws. But soon, soon, soon I'll get my studio back and then I can start busting out some paintings again before everyone forgets that I actually do paintings as well. Man. Yo, it's fi only 5.30 here. Quill, it's like 3 in the morning or some shit. Yeah, it is nice to have, to have the options of open mics and stuff too and like sometimes you just do a random pop-up and then you'll still get dms and then you just try and throw it in there right for sure i've been trying to get more like music people in get some music people on the mic right because that's kind of like not always a thing oh you kept them busy nice nice no, I, was just, I, like I, was just talking. I was just like yeah what's up open mics i see, like them see that's kind of why i wanted to do it while someone was on so that you know <laughs> Uh, if it's someone comes on, there. it's like, what's going on? No one's here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you come back, there's like one person in the room. You're like, oh, what? <laughs> and it's me. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? Right? That's yeah. Happened oh, it's, hap it's happened. Yeah, it happens. Okay, I'll do this one. This is my most recent one. It's called Weave Me, Consume Me, Destroy Me. 
Okay. Weave me together with words meant for others' lips. Syllables of sin and submission. Sentences choked, ending without breath left to steal. Empty brackets filled with half measures of self and disgust and secrets, all in equal measure. Your smile like a dark mountain, piercing the sky for dawn's blood to begin its inevitable creeping stain. Daybreak broken, a holy writ spat on, then cursed. Consume me with your tragic soul song, luring me out from the woodwork. Sing the echoes of myself. Narcissist, friend, liar, lover, your sadness, their shame, my pen caught in the feedback behind the compulsions, sung only after midnight, telling me everything I wanted you to say. Destroy me with the madness of your flesh, a spider trap of victims hanging off your tattered wrists and breasts, your tangled web, sweet and sticky, then sick. Touch my darkest and cruelest corners where love skitters and hisses and shakes. Give me devotion without prayers. Give me iron swords forged in your blood. Give me sacrifice like only I could understand. Give me all that I crave. Nightfall, black skies, and the poisoned whispers of your true name. Give me all. Give me all. Yeah, <laughs> give me a yes, 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 yes. No, man. Thanks yeah. so much for having this space, buddy. I really appreciate it, man. For oh, real. man. I can't even begin to show my gratitude for you guys coming <laughs> on here. I'm just that's blessed. How, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm blessed, man. And I hope I see you guys again. Oh, for sure, man. Now I know it's here. here. It's open season. It's open season on your mic, man, on Sunday. So oh, you anything, know man, back. anything. And it seems like I found a good time. Last time, last time I was a little bit too late, I think, for a lot of people. But it looks like I found a good time. So I think I'm going to keep yeah. this time for every Sunday. No, it's good because you still grab UK because that's the yeah, you know well, you want to jump on UK too. There's lots of great artists. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Cool, man. Okay, man. thanks so much, Jay. Take it easy. All right, man. Thanks for thanks for being here, man. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much. Oh, we pleasured. All right. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, if you don't already follow him, be sure to do so. And looking in the queue. All right. So I think first we had first we had. Must have been, must have been. I don't even know for sure, but I think we got a real campaign. A real campaign. After that, we got theme, theme of forest, and then we got Marianne Peterson. After that, all right, all right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Ah. Tonight's a good night. Tonight's a good night. Oh, it's not coming through. It's not coming through. Invited. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Just waiting for you. Kevin Payne. Oh, all up? right, all right. We in. We're in. What's going on, fam? How's, how's it going, brother? We're just chilling, man. We're just chilling. Cool, cool, cool. Bet I came to uh, bless the mic, man, and get it hot. Yeah, well, fuck yeah. Mike's going to be blessed, I can tell. Hey, well, uh, you got a thing y'all working out of? Because I, I can do anything. Just give me a thing. Oh, anything you'd like, man. Anything you'd like. I'm ready to hear anything. All right, bet. Uh, well, I got something. I'm going to tell you the title at the end because I'm going to sneak up on you. So, uh, <laughs> be as shameful. I should tell of Thunderdomes in prison cells, a night of pure hell. But a new day dawning, a new shift coming. But I can't sleep. I'm down on my knees in the belly of the bee. And there it was, understanding. And there I went, a preaching, chanting words of life. And what life can be, those words returned and lofted me. Wafted me from miscreant, criminal, derelict, to clean black man on top of my shit. Not just because I must. My vocab is a slab. The weight of my words bust. But this is the generation that make a preacher cuss. <laughs> A preacher cuss. Yeah, 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 that preacher gun cuss, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, in biblical ways, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. Time back to time back to uh, what you call it, to the preacher days before 
that really had to be preached. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, uh, hey, I appreciate the opportunity, man. Thanks. I want to come just my meet and greet the people and uh, show love. It's a, you know, I'm running a love campaign. And, uh, I'm All right. Writers, you know, that's speaking life. And the other ones is not the star speaking life. We can turn and see the writers and the speakers have all the power in the culture. And oh people, yeah, they for it and they wrote love out. But anyway, love wins. That's the end of the story. Oh, that's true, man. The writers are the ones going into history. That's you know, yeah. the rest die with memory. So yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. What's time for a renaissance? And if you're not living for something worth dying for, you ain't living. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. That's that good. is true. The plague, the plague, the black <laughs> plague that took out everyone. Now we got that stupid corona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, as long as we keep living, we won't die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I appreciate the time and opportunity. I, I followed you already. I All right. And uh, I, I got a live. Come through, man. Give me some of that God bless you got. I know you got Yeah, it. for sure, man. Shoot me an invite sometime, man. The reason why I do the Sunday day or Sunday thing is because Man, I had to give up a lot of my lives I was doing because I started working full time during the week, right? And and even if I was home, man, I'm just too tired to even read the damn screen. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I would love to be a part of your life sometime for sure, man, for sure. Okay, bless, man. But I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, uh, yeah, man. later, man. Bless. All right, catch you later, man. I'll be waiting for that invite. Yes, sir. All right. There we go. You had it. You had it. It's all about love. It's all about life. And it's more about love. All right. So everybody who's been sending me them friend requests and all that, I noticed there was a few. I'm going to get at it as soon as this live is over. And this time over, uh, I had to cut Buddy short earlier because the uh, live was ending. I didn't know it was popped up there on the screen. So we still got about ha just over half an hour to go. And we got people in the queue, so let's just get the show on the road. All right, so up next we got, okay, we got even more. All right, we got, so uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this one right here. I was trying to remember which, <laughs> trying to remember who was on first, but all right. Um, we got this lovely soul right here. Next hey. after that is Marianne Peterson. And how's it going? I've definitely seen you. I've definitely oh. seen you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm the Metaphorist. Um, Metaphorist. All right, so I might have said it wrong. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's like a forest of metaphors, if that if it helps it. Metaphoric. Yeah. yeah. So it's um, uh, a forest of metaphors or poetries, you know what I'm saying? Um so thank you for having me on your on your platform. It's, it's an honor. Thank you so it's much. An honor. It's an honor to have you, man. It's an honor to have you. Thank you. And yeah, it's, so many poets I know have just uh, just I've just seen on your live. Um, so this is a piece uh, I want to share. It's usually a piece I always do when I'm on someone's live for the first time, and it's called Rhythm. It's one of my favorites. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. Rhythm. Groove is in the heart. I had nothing to compare it to. She was rhythm, and rhythm is a dancer without a partner, frolicking like a flame, her hair flickering, whipping tongues of tresses swaying, skipping along her dress as she addresses the company of men being tested. Men, ever trying to put her luster to rest within their heads, visions of her in their beds, the two of them in the kitchen raising toasts and having her spread as she melts. We were our alter egos without alterations. The spark beneath me put fire in my step while looking for my reflection in her. We were palpable, all heat, no flames apart from her hair. My heart of wax cried in my heart of flame. Lash tears were stalactites of hanging daggers that dangled above the pit of my stomach. Looking over at my guts that hadn't yet shown, her, hadn't yet shown themselves. Her emerald eyes were never green with envy, even when she saw red. Her green flashed and she was aglow with gold. Her allure was like tendrils keeping the brave at a radius close. A fiery redhead with the features of, of a Kate Mara or Isla Fisher. Do we not see the value in pretty pictures? She's a unicorn, but don't unicorns grant wishes? Her rhythm never had a misstep. If there was a secret, it would be kept a victor if there was regret, it would be kept a Victoria's secret. The dress, sleeveless, the hem like a poor theatre curtain, 
armed with a charm to both men and women. She was gracious on their armor. Man made gift to women, a charm bracelet. Rhythm never came with the blues. Just to kill me and my temptress in a red dress, healed in blue suede shoes. Dancing with the devil, her proximity was divinity. And I, with the back of my hand and thumb, ran along a clavicle, traced back to her left shoulder while in hold. My hand below her shoulder blade, pulling along the back of her dress that margined her decolletage. My unwitting angel, not knowing where, not knowing, sorry, my unwitting angel, not knowing that I found where her grace lies. In the spotlight, radiant and white hot, encompassing our halo microcosm. No strings attached, informal, no shirt. No tires, just our bodies entwined. Her waistline at one with my baseline. Our lips kiss, interlocked like our fingers engaged in slow dance, folded hand in hand in half prayer. Her kisses were French, her passion Italian. We borrowed iconic feelings lovers had lent, volatile and intense, with the swiftness of stallions. All that was missing was magnolia in her hair and a cliche of flowers. Cantarella, my poison companion. What witchcraft is this? There's magic in the fingertips. A grip at the nape of my neck, I was collared in bliss. To the outside, a capricious twist, armoured by a more hers in Christian Dior, but I see pockets of it. Love is blind, and that is why it's, it seems to have never found you in time. It robs you of it, your mind and anything solid. She speaks. I too, though our words are only lightly touching, unaware that us scared has others Sorry, unaware that us paired has other scared, herself brushing upon my rough skin. And we continued into the dark, purposeful night, dancing the skyline in semicircles, moving in semicircles, orbiting and sailing, undertaking ochos and salidas in space, harboring only two corporeal bodies, sandwiching us fleetingly in time. Rhythm. <clears throat> That's rhythm for sure. That is rhythm for sure, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was, whew. you know, I love how, I love how smooth that was. Oh, That's like you. smooth in the groove, man. Ooh, <laughs> right through. Yeah, right that was through. a right <laughs> That was a poem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on, man. If you, if you so, got more, you're more than blessed to do so, man. Uh, I could do a short one because I know you've got a lot of people in the uh, in the queue. So um, let me do. Oh, I do, uh, I'll do this one because it's it's something that I don't really prepare. I mean, I don't really read that much. It's called prepare right. for war. Okay, okay. My head's hot and my heart's cold. My mind's sharp and my spirit's bold. I told them I wouldn't stop, and for that, they tried to put all the stops, and I put a full stop to their full stops. Mm -hmm. A period where we all got cause to pause because I win, you win. When you lost, I lost. We all won, but they divide us into fractions, so we don't know the cost. Because if we realise, then we all won. We need to stop thinking about portions and not turn ourselves into the, turn ourselves from, sorry and not turn it onto ourselves from the inside that's how they abort us they made rules but these rules don't enforce us impose so we move cautious and with that they caught us no i'm not talking about pure lust i'm talking about pure cuffs so that incarceration reinforces the lawless so that they can stand above us and lord us rich dad poor dad i ain't poor cuz we rich in mind and in spirits it's in the proof we bulletproof and we are who and we are riot yeah we are raucous they make pages of sentences to slam the door cause throw the book, but prison is in the mind. It's not bricks and mortar. You become the listener before you become the talker. You become the crawler before the walker. Prepare for war cause the war prepares for your daughter. Prepare for war cause the war, the war prepare, nah, sorry. Prepare for war cause the war prepares for your son. Prepare for war cause the war prepares for your soul, no? Prepare for war. And that's it. That is true, man. That is true. <laughs> and it's the war of world out there. I mean, the war of world out there, you know? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Because that's the way the world is. It's a battle. It's a battle that you got to fight your whole life just to just to have a place where you can rest. Yeah. yeah. Especially, especially with governments these days, have they have a uh, ulterior motive. Can't can't trust anything that the politicians are telling you so oh definitely i don't trust damn thing for one second i mean for one 
for one reason is God above doesn't want me to have no bowing down to nobody. And somebody who wants to force you to bow down, that is someone you need to run away from. Man. Yeah. Um, no man has the ability to make another man bow. And if they think they, if they, think they can. <laughs> only insecure people need people to worship them. That's all. That's yes, all I'm exactly, exactly. We are exactly. all gods. We are all kings, all queens, all goddesses. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, once you realize mm -hmm. your own truth, you walk in your greatness. And once you do that, you you walk you walk and you are because um, humans are divine beings, you know. So that's you've got to start that's acting true. like it. So. Exactly, so man. Exactly. Thank you so much for coming on that, man. That's pure straight right there. That's pure reality. Thank you. It's an honor. And I can't wait to... Are you doing this every day or is it every Sunday? Uh, well, so far it's only every Sunday, but I mean, if opportunities arise, hell, if people want to be on the show, I'm going to keep doing the thing because I love this. I yeah. absolutely love this. And, yeah, and I agree with Chad. Like, the this time is, is perfect for the UK. So thank you so much. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, UK in the house, man. Can't be, can't be, can't beat that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Pick up all my posts in the comments as well. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody who's not already following you, I'm sure they are. And hi, Jenna May. Nice to see you. It's my sister in the house now. <laughs> That's cool. All right, cool. All I'll right. let you get on. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks. See you soon. All right. Bye. All right, brother. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Okay, so due to time, we've got 20 minutes left, so I will request to just limit to one poem per person for what's left. And we got Mary Ann Peterson next. Just because of time, just because of time, you know, last time I had to cut someone short because the live shut off and I had all you guys lined up, so I had to start another. Hey, how's it going? How are you? It's going good. That's great. Good. That's great. I'm glad you could make it again. Yep. <laughs> all right. So what you got for us today? A poem I just wrote uh, yesterday on the 17th called okay. Every Time. All right. As an eagle flying in the sky, I feel like I'm soaring with you. Every time we make love, I feel like I'm flying. Every time we are together, I feel good. Every time we kiss, I feel like I'm floating. Every time we talk, I feel happy that I found you. Every time, I feel like I'm more in love with you. Ooh-wee. All right. That's love. That's love from above again. You know how it is, huh? <laughs> yep. That is great. I'm absolutely blessed that you came on again. She's a second timer. She was here on the last on the last show, and she's back again to bless us again. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Marianne. You're welcome. All right. Well, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut everyone out at one, one poem tonight, yep. but thank you so much for coming. I hope I see you again. Yep, you will. All right, great. Sounds good. Sounds good. Bye. Perfect. Bye. All right. There you had it. It was Marianne Peterson. Marianne Peterson. Most people already know. Most people already know. So one poem each, one poem each. Uh, up next was Nikki Longthorne. Nick Longthorne. Ah, oh, Nikki Longthorne. All right. All right, Nikki Longthorne. Anyone who isn't following Marianne Peterson, please, please be sure to do so. Check her out. <coughs> Who's your favorite poet? Nikki? <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. How are you? I'm 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 tired, man. It's getting late. I'm I'm all right. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Oh been, like, man, well the fact that you're here waiting on this, I'm uh, I'm honored, man. I'm honored. Um I don't know what to do for it. I'm trying to think. I've 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 kind of I've just a lot of my stuff's old, it's old material, but I've not shared a lot of it. Um so it's kind of I've been revisiting over the last few days. I've been endlessly going through old notes and working on things so i'm going to throw a piece that i've shared a couple of times at live events when we used to be able to do that in the old days when we when we were allowed out in um, the old days yeah it seems so far away now eh? before the locks are all in like animals again yeah um this is um it's kind of a piece that's part of a a longer series of poems i'm working on that's around a family of pe a family that's kind of filled with poverty and everything they do, every aspect of life. 
is basically they're, they're, they're all barriers to life that you know healthcare, society, you know, uh, education, everything because they're poor, they just don't get access to it. And this is um, from the the point of view of the absent father, um, and it's called the denial of an aging disgrace. Where's the fucking Rizzlers, man? I just need a fucking smoke to take the edge off starting with just one almighty talk. This week's been shit, I have to say. Today's been much the same. Let's smoke till I can't see her face and can't recall their names. She said that I'm an addict, yeah? What does she fucking know? A few pills every weekend and a little bit of blow. A spliff for breakfast every day to help me on my feet. And a couple more at bedtime, yeah? But that's just to help me sleep. Beers with the lads at dinner time before it's back to work, and a swift one after clocking off. It's an early finish perk. I love my life, there's nothing wrong, I'll never change a thing. There ain't a drinking game exists that I can't fucking win. How could she ever understand or find ways to forgive? She must think I'm some useless, selfish bastard fucking div. There's things I tried to tell her, but how could I ever say? I think of ways to end my life at some point every night and day. She never lets me see the kids, it breaks my fucking heart. She says I'm unpredictable, yeah, but she knew that from the start. School, foster homes and prison, none of it did me no good. I was born and dragged up fighting, surviving any way I could. I've been this way from being 14. Life will never be no different. Pissed and stoned forever from a 40 plus delinquent. Man, that one spoke to me. I, I could relate on that so many levels. So many levels, man. That was... That one is too real. <laughs> too real. <laughs> it's not It's not my experience, but it's, it's a lot of things I've seen in others and observations. Yeah, observations. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. I get that, man. Like I, I lived that life, man. I come from a third world country. The first three years or first five years of my life, we had no running water, no electricity. My mom right. was lucky enough to marry a Canadian, so we ended up here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's, you know, growing up with uh, the absent biological father and trying to fit in all this and that, nothing really working out, having no friends, no family around. Yeah. You know, I did eventually turn to certain habits as well, and uh, I'm just blessed that I'm not in that spot anymore. But, yeah, I, I definitely resonate with that, man. Thanks mm -hmm. for the opportunity to, to come on board, man. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for coming out here and speaking some of my own truth, you know? <laughs> I agree, Tim. My absolute pleasure. I'll jump off anyway. I'll let someone else in, but I'll All see right. you again soon, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this every Sunday for sure, so I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good to meet you. All, All right, right brother. All right, see you next time. Whew. Well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. You know, meeting a new poet almost told you a little bit about me in a way, in a way, in a way. All right. So it looks like we got no more in the queue. And we got 10 minutes. So do you guys want to hear one of mine? Want to hear one of mine? I'll do one of mine, and then I'll just end the show after that. How does that sound? Um, all right, all right. So I'm going to do I'm gonna do one of my originals. For those of you who haven't heard it yet, I'm going to do one of my originals. Uh, just waiting for this to load. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oof, it's been on it's been on sleep this whole time so all right all right so the one i'm going to do is called where i stand the man i am on my land yes okay perfect perfect <clears throat> i never give up on someone who's feeling gone but when i feel like it i'm left to deal alone and said to be the toxic misfit like if i'm just a stone Easy for them to quit and stay out of my zone because I'm just a hypocrite for feeling the pain to the bone because they can't admit the same pain they have also known. So they rather threat to split than to be someone grown and make me out to be unfit. So I am overthrown 
and I can't even acquit or try to atone just because they don't permit and don't condone and only omit and stay over blown instead of trying to submit or lose the verbal tone and, just, and instead of trying to knit the slit of pain needed to be sewn they take a drill bit and go way overblown when I just want to remit and go back to my throne but then again I am hit with that overtone I'm reminded of being a misfit and that all, all I am prone is to never refit without a grindstone so I take the hit bit by bit till my split spirit is gone with my wit and you get spit right on my grit until you see my old bit now I've been shown my capstone, that I am just alone, easy to disown, always unpostponed, worth nothing more than a groan and made to dethrone, and apart I'm blown, like I am as brittle as free stone, and then unbeknown. But I do know where I am homegrown, and I'm a milestone away from my headstone, my grave, and I will not be a slave to how I'm expected to behave. It's who I am worth that's worth to save, and I will be brave, and I will never cave. After everything I gave, I will conclave, and you will feel my shock wave, and I will never deprave, and I will engrave and pave my rave. It's time for a new wave. After everything I forgave, time to be a threat like a heat wave. I'm the autoclave, harder than a microwave to any who misbehave, and my fury stave. Those who want to enslave. The love I gave and save, anyone unhappy with what I gave, is an art to cave, and you will mold away while I enjoy the day that I chose to walk away, not to stay, and found my way to find my own gateway. And I will not delay or let myself decay. I will never stray from my pathway until I fade away or reach my judgment day. This is all I have to say with this word play. My enemies will not overstay. It's doomsday and I will slay. The rest will stay away at bay and be nothing but a memory of yesterday. You better be a runaway. When I display my array that my life is my Broadway. And I have no dismay in who I display. Because my Lord's side is where I lay. And exactly where I am to stay. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for that, Jenna. Thank you so much. That's my sissy. That's my sissy. Thank you, babe. That is amazing. My sissy. My sissy here to watch me. Okay, so ooh, we got a few more minutes, and we still got people watching. So do you guys want to hear another one? <laughs> the chills, the chills, the chills, and the feels. Okay, I'm going to do a shorter one then. I'm going to do a shorter one just because I know I got a little bit of time left. And this one is called Regrowth. Regrowth. And if you like that one, you're going to like this one if you haven't already heard it. Regrowth. Regrowth. I know my sister, she helped me on this, uh, on the cover piece for it, for a quote that I made. And here we go. So this is going to be the last one of the night. Yes, they're saying, yes, brother. All right. Well, let's do it then. This is the last one. <clears throat> Man, like I said, this computer is slow. <laughs> but all right. Regrowth. At times, I used to feel like I was going insane in the membrane. When I felt like I was not worth the same gain that everyone else gets to obtain. And it made me lose my damn brain. Because I was not allowed to feel the pain. Because someone else was always the main. And even if I tried to explain why I felt the need to complain, I was reminded that I was a meal served plain. And thinking I was worth more just meant I was total insane. Even though I know that I am sane. I just feel like that is really lame. But I won't play the damn game. I won't put myself to that shame. See, you and I are not the same, because I won't let anyone knock me down like before. I'm growing stronger every day forevermore. I'm raising high to the sky, and I'm ready to soar. And do you think you can look down on me from the floor? Nah. 
Whatever power you have to devour, because you're still a seed and I am a flower. You're underneath and I am a tower, because I'm growing up instead of being a coward. You stayed underground and I turned around. I am not bound to the way you are now, and I am not a clown. I have no reason to frown. My life is my town, and I am the one with the crown. That is no, that is how it is now. No more fucking around. <laughs> Whew. All right, all right, all right, all right. So with that in the in the wind, you know, with that out of the way, that is mine called regrowth, regrowth, short and sweet, short and sweet. But with that, we're coming to the conclusion of Sunday night open mic night. So it's spoken word poetry with yours truly, People's Poetry Project, the one and only Choice Rhymer, the one Choice Rhymer. Purely pure progress. So with much love from above, be blessed with the best always in all ways. For this day and all days, bless you, stay true, and love stays. And together, we nurture the future with all praise for better days, so that where we head stays ahead. Forwards and onwards, remember these words until the next time you were here to hear them at least. From northwest, south to east, peace to the beast. I'll see you guys next time.